looking at a Blue Ridge, not any old Blue Ridge, but, but Bradley from uh, Bradley Copper Kettle brought this in and was complaining about some frets that were a little bit buzzy. And I checked it out, and I think it's here. Yeah, 10 is really atrocious. Hear that? These things are straight edges, these weird little contraptions. I have two of them, so I can kind of cross check. Um, and they're straight edges, and what you do is you lay them across three frets. So let's say the tenth fret here. You lay that across, and if these three frets are perfectly in relation to each other, flat, it's not going to do anything. Let's check. The ninth is pretty good. See, I'm trying to rock it, and it won't rock. But at ten here, this is like actually pretty extreme. Cleaning the fretboard. Yes. Oh yeah, making this thing shine, son. You'll notice, or may not notice, if you, like anybody cares, but a trend in these videos is that I do this first. All right, well, we're waiting for all this nonsense to work. I'll show you some other cool stuff that I have going on. This dude brought his project guitar in, and he managed to chisel and route his way through the back of the neck pocket, so that's always fun. And you'll notice a little light patch back there secret formula that I have patching material and if I told you what it was I guess there'd be no reason to come to me right so we're getting that dealt with and also I got myself a belt sander if you ever see somebody looking down a guitar neck like this they're looking to see if the neck is bowed in one direction or another now if you look at right here where the frets end and where they meet this sort of black binding right here and you look all the way down you'll notice that we are very very straight um i checked this with a with a straight edge too this isn't the only measurement i'm doing that would be probably a little bit negligent but i just uh wanted to show it from this angle too when you're leveling you want it to be dead flat because you know if it's bowed in one direction or another it's kind of counterproductive ready to go. I'm gonna paint these up and uh, the first pass is gonna be with my mill file, my you know crazy teeth grinding mill file because some of these frets are high enough to where I think that's necessary and I'm gonna move on to my beam. This is relatively new I've only been using it for a few months and you can see I've been using it to shape saddles and nuts as well. And here we go. I'm not gonna subject you to too much of this. See all those silver little shavings on there? That's all from the frets. All that shiny dust. It looks like a lot, but it's actually not at all. It's very, very, very small amounts that you take off the top. And here's the beam. The reason I like this is it basically touches every fret. I'm not gonna record this for too long because it's heavy and I don't want it bearing down on the neck, so I gotta support it. here's what we look like after the big beam has been finished. All the marks that the mill file leaves are all gone and these big divots from the strings are gone. So, so far we've used mill file and then the beam with 400 grit sandpaper and now I'm going to use the really fine leveler. Usually it, I don't do this many, it's not this many steps, but this was a couple frets were pretty out of whack and I don't know. This isn't going to be very long though, it's going to be a couple and then we'll be completely done. I finally found an angle that I can do the crowning from. This is a really important procedure and one that they always skimp on at the factory. So what I'm doing is I'm using a three-corner file to take the frets. When you, when you level them, they're all flat on the top. And what you have to do is round them over so there's one tiny little sliver. And that's what we're doing. Here we are after sanding up to a thousand grit. I'm going to try using these fret erasers and see how they go. They did a pretty good job. I'm just going to hit it with steel wool and some metal polish. And we should be all set to go. Alright, not bad. That's what you end up with.
after, what was it? 400, 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, and steel wool, and some uh, metal polish. So, all that's left to do is string it up and see what it sounds like. <laughs>